John Curry knows what it means to hold down a post. His is right below the basket, next to the visitor's bench. His Blazers post contrasting sharply with John's recent assignment, processing naval cargo in Kuwait with his unit of 140 fellow Oregonians and Washingtonians. We came back home safe. We had no injuries. We had no, nobody get hurt. Uh, and we came back uh, knowing that we fulfilled the mission. And that was very rewarding to me. As he slides back into his old life, the question comes up, what did John miss the most this past year? His Blazers gig is a job many fans would kill for, but after spending the summer in Kuwait, John's just grateful to be leaving that Middle East weather behind. I actually have a picture of the thermometer that was 135 degrees. It didn't rain one single day for seven, six and a half months. Not one drop of rain did I see. We came back to Virginia, we were in our out processing and it rained and a bunch of us walked outside and did the whole Shawshank thing like, oh my gosh, it's rain, it feels so good. <laughs> He's worked NBA games for 22 years. In fact, only John's Navy tenure overshadows his time with the Blazers. 31 years in the service, retirement coming up this spring. After that, his only concern will be sitting on the baseline with those big NBA centers looming. The one player I was really nervous about was Arvita Sabonis. That guy was huge. The ones that really hurt is when the, the big players are stepping back and they actually step on your foot. And, you know, that's 260 pounds. John's official welcome home last Sunday at center court where he presented Blazers coach Nate McMillan with a U.S. flag that was flown in Kuwait during a 9-11 ceremony. For John, moments like these help affirm his role in the war. When you come home and you have people show you this kind of support, it really feels, um, it feels like you, you feel like it, it was an okay thing to do. And you feel like your family and your friends and your coworkers supported what you did, despite how they may feel about the war effort itself.